welcome back to another edition of Nostalgic Friday. And, well, well, I thought this week we talk about something, well, a bit, well, a bit serious. So, I bet a lot of us have, have, you know, our childhood favorite cartoons that have her, that can talk that can get a little serious at times when they bring up subjects or maybe get a little dirty every now and again. Well, well then I, well well then again, there are times when that goes where that well gets out of hand and well like and they have to and the episode ends up getting pulled, you know, from airing cuz of how far the writers went to do that. Like they seriously went too far. So, oh, sorry. So today, I decided, I did, I'm going to be talking about some controversial episodes. Episodes, you know, that got, that got, that got pulled off air after only airing once or were not very good. And now, some of the ones I picked, well, I've, some of them are from shows I haven't seen and some I have. So... I may not know all of them, so anyways, why don't we get on with it? Okay, so the first one comes from the show, which I have never seen before because I wasn't born when this came out, and, but I think some of you may know it. It's called Mighty Mouse, and well, um, the episode that um, got, well, uh, banned is called The Littlest Tramp. And, well, this isn't really that big of a, well, except, well, it's not really that big, but it got, but it kind of got pulled for one reason. Well, it was because of a little scene where Mighty Mouse Mo was, like, snorting, um, you know, that stuff that looks like snow. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at, ex I'm bad at how to explain, you know, what what, you know, some serious stuff really means. Yeah. And, well, apparently, according to this, well, to this, I guess, documentary I found, well, the, I guess, I guess, well, there's, there's, wh apparently, well, well, what I found right here was CBS banked all the episode, but aired it after Mash explained he was, in fact, smelling a crunch, crushed flower, which I believe was supposed to replace, um, you know, that stuff people thought he was actually snorting, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, parent groups insist that Mighty could encounter children to become, um, um, Sea fiends, fiends, sea fiends. Oh my! When I I mean the letter C, that's what I'm saying because the word I'm saying starts with a C. Okay, pressuring CBS to cut the scene for future airings. The controversy tainted the show, leading to its cancellation midway through season two. Yeah, I just thought I'd read that. So yeah. Okay, so this next one is actually from an anime, which is very well known. Now, here's one thing I want to tell you guys. I'm not technically into anime, but this is an anime that I know kids adore, so I thought, why not? Why not? And, well, I have actually seen it, but I never really got too big on it, and I never really became obsessed with anime. But I think you may already know it. It's Pokemon. And the name of the episode, it's called The Legend of De De Front De Ugh. Here. To some of you, how do you say the D? Just, how do you say the one with the, the word with the D? I'm, hold on, come on, stay close. Yeah, how do you spell the D, the, the last part of it? I'm, I'm, I'm really bad, because I'm really bad about it, because I'm not a... I'm not, I am not a Pokemon expert, like, I never became too obsessed with Pokemon and all, so, yeah, so, apparently, so, here's the reason why this episode got banned. 
according to this part of, well, the Google page where I found it, okay, it says, says, the legend of D, that's what I'm going to call it because I can't pronounce it correctly, the episode was banned largely due to the preventing use of firearms, which, which were fired at Team Rocket and were pointed at by Ashton Kejra, I, again, I, I, I'm bad at names because I, I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not familiar with the Pokemon franchise, okay? And I'm, and nor am I into the fandom, okay? A non-recruiting character who was, who, who has appeared in this episode. Yeah. And I actually do remember finding somewhere, like, when I was looking... When I was looking up episodes to, you know, talk about for this video, I stumbled upon this, and I stumbled upon, a, I stumbled upon this in a list, and somehow the other reason was actually, another reason was because, well, Meow, Meowth, I think, you know, somehow, somehow had a Hitler mustache or something. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this next one actually comes from a, actually is a cartoon from my favorite kids network, Nickelodeon. And I think a lot of you know this one. I especially do. I mean, I wasn't born when it first came out, but, but I have seen episodes of it. And I know it's loved by all. And that is Rugrats. Now I know what you're thinking. What? What would the Rugrats do? Well, I think some of a, I think a lot of you know of a certain episode, you know, a Rugrats Hanukkah. Well, here's one thing I found out. I So, I think maybe a lot of people may consider this episode a bit, you know, maybe innocent enough. But, there was a bit of some controversy. Eh, apparently, apparently, there was like something, they found something that had to do with, I guess, 1930s Nazi newspapers. And, and... Also the, also the president at the time who was a, who was well a J Jewish him, himself, called, oof, profaned bewilderment and called the education a, be a brass abused. Oh God, oh God, and and the controversy reefs. And the controversy resurfaced in 1998 after the ADL made the same claim about Boris appearing in the Rugrats comic strip. Oof. That ran in newspapers during the Jewish New Year. Wow. <sighs> yeah. But, yeah, apparently that was a thing. I don't think this episode really got banned, though. Did it get banned? I mean, again, I've never... I mean, I haven't seen every episode of Rugrats, and... Because... But I have seen some, and all, so... Yeah. So, yeah. Jeez, talk about the, the one and only childhood show. Show, like, you know... You know, talking about, you know... Doing stuff like that. But they didn't actually... But I don't think they meant... They really meant it. If they did, well, they really didn't. So this next one, well, it's it's also from a show I have never seen, but I have heard from people, and it's actually a Disney cartoon, and that is Hot Spells from Darkwing Duck. Jeez. So this one, oh boy. So apparently, this episode after this episode aired, it was not rebroadcasted on 2 Disney because uh, following its original run because of religious subject matter. Jesus. And I think I do remember reading, you know, where I found, when I found this episode, I'm like, holy cow, that, I guess it was a little dark. But then again, it, it, it did say that it aired, I guess, around Halloween time, so... Wow. So, yeah. Okay, so another one. Now, this is actually one I have actually seen. This is, and, well, it actually will aired on Cartoon Network. And I do have distinct memories of watching it, but I wasn't born when it came out. And that is Rude Removal from Dexter's Laboratory. <sighs> yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, pretty much was, this episode was kind of the reason why I wanted to make this list in the first place. I'm like, you know what? I want to do an episode of controversial episodes. So, yeah, I'm doing the, yeah, this is the reason why I'm doing this. And what I found on the Wikipedia page was this, like, the spies never airing on television, rude removal did see limited showing at central animation festivals and conventions, including an event at the 1998 World Animation Celebration on February 20, 21st, 1998. Te Te Ka Sky? I think that's how you say it. I am so sorry. Would sometimes show the cartoon when he spoke in public on such showing occasions during an lecture given at the Ro at the Roho Island School of Design on November 15, 2008. He was asked about the segment during a Reddit AMA in October 2012 and he replied, next time I do a public appearance, I'll bring it with me. Adult Swim later asked fans on Twitter if there was still any interest in the segment and the response was overwhelming. The segment was finally uploaded on YouTube and Adult Swim's official website on January 2012, January 22nd, 20, 2013. The release segment is censored. Hmm. Yep. Although we all know why this, sh this, this show got, this episode got banned. I mean, come on, swear words, hello. Although, I have to ask though, Spongebob did a kind of, did a similar episode, but it never got censored. It never got banned. I mean, sorry. Run. It never got banned, I mean, they, uh, it's not, I mean, I mean, it never got banned. Like, wh why? I mean, sure, they use dolphin noises, like, hey, Pat, how the, ha, hi, how the, yeah, are ya? Yeah, I can't do a dolphin's impression, sorry. Okay, now this next show actually comes from, is actually a popular franchise, and <sighs> here's one thing I kind of want to confess. I had mixed feelings for this series back, back in 2012. Well, through 20, I guess, um, through 20, I don't know, 15 or something. And this show has had many versions over the years. But today, I'm not going to be talking about the 2012 version. I'm going to be talking about one episode that was actually banned from their 2003 series. And that is Insane in the Membrane from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003. Yep, that's right. Well, I mean, I mean, okay, I, I have, again, my, I mean, today I'm, I mean, today I'm more like, I'm more, I'm more mad about it, but. I still, I still don't know why, but I still like to laugh at, you know, whenever I see a joke, joke, you know, or a clip of some sort, or, like, seriously, who do they get to write their jokes for the, sh for their shows? <sighs> They're so, and it, and, uh, what the, I seriously don't know. No. Oh. So, so obviously we all know this episode was basically, well, well, was, you know, just scary and dark and, ugh, Jesus. I even remember when I read about it, like, oh my god, like, 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 there's like, I'm like, wow, like, it was really shocking to me, and of course I just had to put it on the list, because I'm like, you know what, if anybody who's, who's been on my channel long enough knows knows about my Ninja Turtle hatred, well, they should know by now that I'm over it, which I am. So, this episode didn't actually air in the U.S. It, o it only, like, like, it never did. 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 Like, according to this, like, little wik Wikipedia page I found, it says, okay, that... That this episode did not air in the U.S. Affirmatively of four kids TV because the content of the episode was deemed too graphic in nature, and it and it was later made available on four kids TV website. Wow, 
and it wouldn't be until August 2015 that it would air in the U.S. on Nick on the Nicktoons channel. Yep. Yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say, when I really read when I read this, I'm like, wow. I mean, I mean, as someone who had like a hatred, but also had had a thing for like their sense of humor, I. I can't believe how shocking they would go that far to do that. So this next one actually comes from a show, another one I've never seen, and is actually another Disney one. Although some of you may may not know it because it's really underrated, and it's, well, it's from a show called Gargoyles, and the show, the episode is called Deadly Force, which, well, has one of the characters getting shot, and apparently apparently it was well banned you know because of some dark stuff you know like possibly you could just anything you could think about oof jeez jeez like <laughs> and there's a lot i could read about like oh my god but ugh they just got the whole summary of the the whole story of the episode. Oh uh, yeah. I don't think I need to know, but but yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So apparently this is the eighth television episode of Gargoyles. The eighth episode of oh, episode eight televised, sorry, my bad. Of the episode from of season one is arguably the show's most controversial episode. You know, because again, of what they did and all that. So, yeah. Okay, next one. Also, one I have never seen. Tiny Toon Adventures, One Beer. Oh, my God. So, this episode, this apparently comes from the episode Elephant Issues, contained three segments of which was called One Beer. This segment involves Buster, Plucky, and Hampton drinking alcohol. Oh. Uh, alcohol. I guess I... Oh, dear. Alcohol from the fridge and going on drunken adventures uh, until they steal a car and crash it. Only that they were only showing kids the dangers of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Can you believe that? And it also says that the segment was banned from from reruns on Fox Kids, Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, Cartoon Network, and the Kids WB due to due to the depositions of Buster, Plucky, and Hamlet getting drunk and the possibility of unaware viewers thinking that their favorite characters are actually dead. Despise this, the episode was eventually included on the volume, volume 3 DVD set and later aired in reruns on the Hub Network, later Discovery Family. Yep. Whoa. Okay, so this next up, this next one, well, it comes from Cartoon Network, but I've never seen it. And the show is called Cow and Chicken. And the episode in question is called Buffalo Gals. And, well, well, apparently this episode was banned because, well... Well, okay. Contained, well, oof. Ugh, God, how do I put this? Well, contained, some contained obvious sexual humor. Well, more sexual humor than the show usually contains, that is. Which includes mom's lines, Oh, the buffalo gals! A, mo a motorcycle riding game that randomly breaks into people's homes and chews their, on their carpets. Oh, heck. But that's not all. We even have the name of one of the bikers being Munch, Munch Kelly, the Buffalo Gals singing the traditional song of the same name. Buffalo Gals, won't you come out tonight? Oh my god. The Buffalo Gals playing softball and talking about pit oh, oh, pitching and catching. Slang terms for, um, um, I'd rather not say. The episode aired only once and was replaced with the episode Autorotic Auto Police in future airings used in season one. 
Jeez. You know, I mean, I mean, some of our cartoons do tend to add in dirty jokes here and there, but this was pretty much taking it too far. And not to mention, they were even, even talking about other type of things, like, like, you know, this, like, you know, those, like, you know, it's a big thing that, you know, like, people saying that the, that the buffalo gals in this are actually, well, you know, the, the, those, the, you know, are like, you know, those type of people who, um, I'd rather not explain it. Moving on. Okay, so we got another one from Nickelodeon here on this list. List, and this one I haven't actually seen. Because I wasn't born when it came out, and also it ended before I was even born. Like, ugh. And that is Rocco's Modern Life, Leapfrogs. And the controver- and here's the controversy. This episode was banned from Nickelodeon because of sexual humor and had a little bit of adultery because of B- Eve attempting to, to seduce Rocco. In addiction- in addition, this episode was banned from earlier NZ broadcasts and was replaced with Wallaby on Wheels. For the future airings, however, the episode was aired for the first time since 1993 without censorship on Nicktoons in 2002. The episode is available on DVD releases and digital services on Vivu and iTunes. It is also aired without changes on the next splat block on Teen Nick. Yeah, wow, can you believe that? I, I sure can't. Okay, so our last one is, well, one I believe everyone has heard of. In fact, you know what? It's another Nickelodeon show, one ha that I also have not seen. And that is Ren and Stimpy, Man's Best Friend. Oh boy, do I have to talk about this one? Okay, so, okay, so, so... So apparently the episode was deemed controversial for the violent scene where Ren beats George with an ah or along with oh to back oh god I don't know how to say that references and Nickelodeon refused to carry it it in its original original form intending series creator John K and his production company Sparrow from for, Further involvement in the series at the time. <sighs> yep. Gee. Like, I have to say, some people, I have to say, the people behind these shows, their brains are a mess. Like, what the heck are they thinking when they come up with these episodes? <sighs> right. So anyways, I guess that's all the episodes I got for for today. So, anyways, wait, wait, next, next month is October. <gasps> oh my gosh. I guess I know what that means. Yeah, and you'll see in the next video. Bye-bye.